Are you getting on your own way? Are you stepping on your own dick? Are you like the majority of other people in our world who literally try to do something, but they end up stopping themselves? Usually because they're afraid of what people are gonna say or think about them because they did something outside the norm. We as people are really, really good at talking ourselves out of doing difficult shit talking ourselves out of doing things that are outside the norm, talking ourselves out of doing the things that are going to get us what we want. It's a, you know, I guess you'd say it's a simple formula. When you look at what you're trying to do, you've got to realize that there's going to be all sorts of obstacles that life, the world, the situation is going to put on you, which are going to be difficult in itself to negotiate. But when you put another set of speed bumps, hurdles, roadblocks in front of yourself on top of the ones that are coming already. Now this becomes a situation that is much easier not to be successful within. You have to look at yourself as your epicenter, you know, the nucleus of yes, I can. You have to realize that when you are thinking about ways to get what you want, your brain is going to find reasons to help you get what you want. When you're thinking about not getting what you want, or you're thinking about what people are gonna say about you when you fail, you're gonna find reasons not to do what you wanna do because your brain is finding reasons to basically keep you away from that failure. So your brain, your mind is extremely powerful. Don't underestimate the power of the mind. When you are thinking about the steps that you need to get what you want, your brain subconsciously is going to continue to work on getting those done. This is getting out of your own way. This is not stepping on your own dick. Stepping on your own dick is going the other way where you're thinking about all the things that are going to happen if you fail. You're going to think about how much it's going to hurt. You're going to think about, get all that shit out of there. Turn it around. Think about the first step. Think about the goal. Think about anything on this side of the fence and let your mind go to work for you and but really what it is, is your mind is working on the positive side of the equation, not the negative side. When, you're, when your mind is working on the negative side of the equation, this is you stepping on your own dick. You control your mind, you control the outcome of your life. People will say all the time, you control your thoughts, you control the quality of your life. We are, we become what we think about. There's been books written about this. What is it? Think and Grow Rich. I can't remember the author. One of those successful books in terms of highly successful people using this as a tool to get what they want. And the premise of the whole thing is they're keeping their mind focused on what they want. And because of that, they're constantly making progress with what they want versus thinking over here where they're not thinking about what they want. They're thinking about reasons or things that are keeping them from getting what they want. That's where they're developing. So break this into the most simple format. Not stepping on your own dick is you having the ability to keep your mind in the positive side of the equation, let your subconscious continue to work on this plan, and you're going to find the reasons you need to take the step forward. You're going to find the little tips or the signals from your life, the universe, whatever you want to call it, that tell you, yes, it's time to take another step. All because you're keeping your mind, your brain, your thought process on the right side of the fence. Do not step on your own dick. It's that simple.